When people reflect on how God was at work in the 20th century, there'll be one name that's bound to feature prominently. Derek Prince. A humble man and a world-class Bible scholar, his steadfast commitment to God and obedience to the Holy Spirit turned him into one of the most loved and respected Bible teachers of his time. For over six decades, Derek Prince's life-changing Bible teaching became a source of inspiration to millions of Christians around the world. Derek Prince was born into a British military family in Bangalore, India, in 1915. At the age of 14, he won a scholarship to Eton and, later on, a place at Cambridge. Having excelled in his studies, Derek was elected to a prestigious fellowship in ancient and modern philosophy at King's College, Cambridge, the youngest person ever to be elected to that position. Derek's academic career was interrupted abruptly by World War II, in 1940, on the basis of his philosophical convictions, he chose to join the Royal Army Medical Corps as a non-combatant. Despite declaring at the time that religion doesn't do much for me, Derek took a Bible with him to read on his postings, considering it to be a philosophical work. At first the Bible made little sense to him. But, as he continued to read his Bible in an army barrack in Yorkshire in July 1941, God opened Derek's eyes. On that day, God taught him two crucial lessons that remained with him for the rest of his life. Recalling that supernatural experience, he says, I heard the voice of Jesus speaking very, very clearly through the scriptures, the Bible. And from the day that I heard his voice till this day, there are two things I've never doubted. I've never doubted that Jesus is alive, and I've never doubted that the Bible is the Word of God. Almost immediately after his powerful conversion, Derek Prince was shipped off to North Africa, where he spent three years serving as an army medic and being discipled in God's Word in the deserts of Egypt, Libya and the Sudan. At the end of the war, Derek was discharged in Jerusalem, where he met and married a Danish missionary, Lydia Christensen. In doing so, he became a father of eight girls, whom Lydia had adopted. Derek and Lydia lived in Jerusalem until after the founding of the State of Israel in 1948. It was there he felt the calling to both serve and pray for God's people, the children of Israel. It was a calling he passed on to countless others. In late 1948, as the newborn state of Israel struggled for survival, the princes reluctantly left Jerusalem and moved to England, where Derek became a pastor of a small Pentecostal church in central London. As he ministered in London and later on in Kenya and in the United States, Derek sensed that all was not how it should be and could be in the lives of Christian believers. He saw how many Christians often struggled to rise above the challenges of everyday life. That's why he constantly encouraged those he ministered to, that they should get closer to God through Bible reading and prayer. In the early 1960s, while pastoring a church in Seattle, Washington, Derek was thrust into ministering God's deliverance after being confronted by a demonic manifestation right in front of his pulpit. As time went on, more and more people wanted to hear Derek Prince open up the scriptures to them and help them know more of the power of God. The ever-growing demand for Derek Prince's insights on audio and video cassettes as well as books led to the opening of the Derek Prince Publications Office in Fort Lauderdale, Florida in 1971. In 1975, Lydia died after nearly 30 years of fruitful marriage and ministry with Derek. The loss was devastating for Derek, but he began to work and travel more than ever. A couple of years later, while in Jerusalem, Derek prayed for a woman named Ruth Baker, who had seriously injured her back. Over time, the Lord revealed to Derek that he was to marry Ruth, 
whom he hardly knew. Following much prayer and testing, Derek and Ruth were married in 1978 and the Lord launched them into a new phase of ministry together. This new phase was marked by the launch of the first daily radio broadcast, Today with Derek Prince, which initially aired on eight stations in the United States. The word God gave to Derek about using radio for ministry was proclaim, short, simple messages, easily understood, declaring basic scriptural truths. Today, Derek's radio broadcasts, books and internet-based resources reach millions of Christians around the globe in over 100 languages. Derek and Ruth Prince continue to minister in many nations as the demand for Derek's teaching increased tremendously until Ruth passed away in December 1998. In the autumn of 2003, Derek Prince died in his beloved Jerusalem, his home for nearly 20 years. He was 88 and left behind a wonderful legacy. To those who had the privilege of knowing him, he left an inspiring example, one of yieldedness to God, love for the church, a heart for Israel, and a roaring passion to see God's people walk in the fullness of the freedom that Christ has purchased for them. To all of us, he left an invaluable treasure of biblical insights in books, articles, sermons, letters, and audiovisual recordings. Derek Prince is the author of more than 50 books, 600 audio and 100 video teaching messages, many of which have been translated and published in more than 100 languages. He pioneered teaching on such groundbreaking topics as generational curses, the biblical significance of Israel, and demonology. In 2002, he said, It is my desire, and I believe the Lord's desire, that this ministry continue the work which God has begun through me over 60 years ago, until Jesus returns. Today, Derek Prince Ministries continues to combat spiritual hunger by resourcing church leaders, Bible college graduates and millions of Christians in over 140 countries with Derek's life-changing Bible teaching, fulfilling the mandate to keep on until Jesus returns. This is accomplished through the outreaches of more than 45 Derek Prince offices around the world, including primary work in Australia, Canada, China, France, Germany, the Netherlands, New Zealand, Norway, Russia, South Africa, Switzerland, the United Kingdom and the United States. It's amazing to consider all that God has done thus far since speaking to Derek shortly after his conversion in 1941, saying, It shall be like a little stream. The little stream shall become a river. The river shall become a great river. The great river shall become a sea. The sea shall become a mighty ocean, and it shall be through thee. But how, thou must not know, thou canst not know, thou shalt not know. With millions of Christians worldwide still hungry for life-changing spiritual food, Derek Prince Ministries remains focused on the task of bringing this vision to full fruition.